what's going on with this huge car shortage now? So since no new cars are being built, I shouldn't say no, very few new cars are being built. Um, nobody's trading in their cars because there's no car, new, new cars to buy. So nobody's trading in their cars. So we've had a shortage of used cars on top of it. So if it's not bad enough that we don't have any new cars, we don't have any used cars either. So it makes it difficult to do business. So how much more valuable is that car sitting in our listeners' garage, driveway, in front of their house in the street worth if they're just not, if they're not, because let's face it, guys, a lot of our listeners are working from home. I took a train down to WGN about two weeks ago, all right? I pulled into the Northbrook Metro Station at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. There were literally 15 cars in the parking lot. Back in the day, a year ago, you would not be able to find a spot if you pulled into the Northbrook lot after like 8 o'clock in the morning because every spot was taken. There's probably 500 spots. There were literally a handful of spots that were filled with cars. So people are not ta- are not using their vehicles as much as they did a year ago. So we're talking 12 months ago. Coupled with this chip shortage, how much more valuable is that car that's not being used right now if our listeners can can get down to one car house? I don't know if there's a uh, percentage, a, a flat percentage you could just say is going on every vehicle across the board. This I can tell you. We had a customer in November of 19 that bought an Edge from us. A used edge, but uh, an edge. They didn't drive it very much. They put about six thousand miles on it in a year and a half, it's and nothing. we're, but we're giving them back more than they paid for it a year and a half ago. 